In St. John's County tonight, deputies have arrested a man accused of sexually exploiting a child. Despite having a bond of nearly half a million dollars, 32-year-old Sebastian Castro's from Colombia is not allowed to post that bond to get out of jail. That's because he's under an immigration hold. News for Jack's reporter Eric Abney joins us live to explain why this case is a little different from the typical sex sting. Eric? Well, Kent, as you may well know, every time we report these stories about someone being arrested for traveling to meet a child for sex, it usually involves an undercover detective posing as a minor. But in this specific case, detectives say an actual minor was sexually uh, was sexually exploited. And how that teen met the suspect is something every parent may want to uh, keep in, uh, may want to pay close attention to. St. John's County authorities have charged 32-year-old Sebastian Castro with two counts of lewd and lascivious battery on a child, using a computer to lure a child for sex while lying about his age, sending a porn video to the child, and arranging to meet the child for sex. According to this arrest report, the victim is a 15-year-old who met Castro on an e-commerce website, and according to investigators, on two recent occasions, Castro and the child met at an undisclosed location in St. John's County, where investigators Investigators say the child was sexually exploited. Investigators also obtained a 14-second pornographic video that they say Castro sent the child. Castro's IP address, statements he made to detectives along with the victim statements, and a photo lineup led to Castro being arrested. Castro was from Colombia, and despite a judge setting a bond at nearly a half million dollars, there's an immigration hold on him, meaning he can't get out of jail. And it appears to me, with the ice hold, that there is a disputed immigration status for this defendant. Attorney Randy Reap is not affiliated with the case, but he does practice immigration law. He says the immigration hold on Castro raises red flags about his immigration status. Perhaps he's overstayed a visa, perhaps he w had some sort of asylum where he was supposed to comport with some activities that he didn't do. Could be a myriad of things, but at least from the ICE officials, there is the belief that there's a dispute. Reap also says that given the severity of the charges against Castro, authorities would rather hold him here in the U.S. and not allow him to post bond, catch a flight back home to Colombia, and never come back to the U.S. to face criminal charges in court. If convicted, Castro could be sent to prison and then deported back to Colombia after he is released from incarceration. His name would also go into a database that lets U.S. authorities know that he is a sex offender should he illegally re-enter the country and get caught.